What is up, YouTubers, gamers, and hobbyists? Welcome to On the Beach Repeat, the hobby along, paint along series that you put on in the background whilst you're working on your projects, whatever they may be. Um, we work together, we chat, um, where well, I chat, and um, together we get stuff done. Make sure you've got tea, coffee, whatever refreshments to hand and you get make sure your work station is all set up mine is like a bomb has hit it at the moment so i suspect i'll have to tidy it up soon <laughs> and i mean soon and um yeah let's get to the bench right in no particular order i'm gonna start this Halfling female. Right, so I want to put, I need to work on the flights of her arrows. A um, bit of armor on her shins. The sword needs work. Yeah, there's a few things, but they're all tiny. I have a white out recently shaken, so it doesn't need too much. And here we go, a nice sunny day today, which is good. I was thinking before I started, uh, what am I going to call this episode? I think I'm going to call it the Classic Car Show 2024, even though it's not about that. I haven't been to it yet, <laughs> but it's today. And I'm going to be going to it later, because um, last year was really good. I, I thoroughly enjoyed it, and I made a video. Uh, well, I'm not going to be making a video uh, this year. I'm just going to be going, you know, burden-free, no no cameras or, you know, or anything like that. And I'm just going to enjoy the sights, basically. I mean, I'll have my phone if, I, if, if there's something that really needs me to get a, uh, to capture it. Um, so I thought, yeah. Yeah, the classic car show. Nice day for it, which is good. Always good. It helps. You know, cause sometimes, you know, you get events on and the weather's bad and, uh, you know, it's a shame because people put a lot of time and effort into these things. You know, to have it raining. Sometimes entire weekends go by where it's got something on and it's just nothing but rain and that's just, that's just rubbish, you know, so... I'm I'm really glad that it's uh it's a nice day for it. We had a good walk with Dylan this morning. Um somewhere different with him again, you know, we're just trying different routes and different areas and ways to go. Went to the Clifffield Gardens with him, which was nice. Uh, you know, he likes new smells and it's nice there. All right, so her arrows are done. What about his arrows? Oh, I can do his arrows too. Exactly the same deal. Yeah, so that's that, that, that's really good. And, uh, you know, that time of the morning, you get to see the sunrise, and it's, it's, it's amazing. It's a magical thing, really. It really is watching it rise over the cliffs and shine across the bay and... Seaton Hall and the cliffs there and ah, oh, it's just amazing. As the light catches the Jurassic Coast, it's just awesome. It really is. I love it. And it's good as well to go different routes with your dog. So your dog doesn't get too like complacent of it. I, I've got white in my hands, so I can get a few more bits and bobs here. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so that's, that's, a really good thing it's, it's a nice like i say it's a nice nice day it's gonna be a nice day i can see it's gonna be a nice day 
and it'd be a good weekend. He's got a long weekend with the bank holiday Monday. It's Sunday today. So I've got tom you know, tomorrow's bank holiday as well. So awesome. That is really awesome. A friend of ours came up uh, to see us yesterday. Um, actually, they were coming back down. They were, they'd gone away. Tewkesbury, I think. I can't remember now. I might get that wrong, but anyway, on the way back to Plymouth, and um, wanted to call in two hours on the way. Purely to see Dylan. He's getting quite a bit of a attention now, which is good. <laughs> and she, she was blown away by how amazing he was, you know. He's always such a good dog, you know. And he really is, you know. We are truly blessed. We really are. Doing a line on his jacket. Oh, her, sorry, her, her jacket. Do excuse me. All right, just getting some highlights on there. That's good. That's good. The white's not really that hard to do, I don't think. Not, you know, when you're doing it like to a simple standard. Yeah. White coat, it's gonna stand out. This white coat. Awesome. I think that will do it. Yeah, see, I like this. I like to do. That. I like to get a color, paint what it is I need to paint, and then see what else is on my bench that may uh, benefit having the same color. So that's good. There. Now I've got a big coffee cup today. You know, one of these big ones. Hmm. Nice and drinkable. So I don't know why I closed it. Okay. Um. So that's that. What else did I want to do on that? Back to the female. Hmm. A pouch. A little tiny pouch. Right. What am I using? Tusk or fur? No, I don't want to use that one. Doomball Brown. Maybe I want to use Doomball Brown, yes. I want to use Doomball Brown. Oh. Trying to sort my chair out. It's not even worth popping this on the electronic paint shaker. Right, dampness of the brush. And uh, I was thinking in bed last night about these halflings and I thought, well, I'd like the majority of characters I use in my next 
RPG adventure to be halflings. There's obviously going to be one that isn't. And I'm not talking about NPCs either. Right, so I think that's done. That's good. I think I might need to swap out my glasses if I Stronger ones here. Hmm. Tad more. Doing a strap, you see. There. Now that's pretty darn good. Yeah, that's pretty darn good. There is a um, stitch in her clothing, which I'm going to use Steel Legion Drab for. Again, dampness of the brush. Yeah, done. Okay, marvelous. That's that done. So, uh, so what we're going to do today? So, we're going to go to the classic car show. And I'm going to get something to eat. Maybe not in that order. I'm a little bit around. <laughs> And um, I think there's a like a street market on the front as well, which is quite good sometimes for things if you want like um, notebooks and things like that, or um, uh, cards or art stuff. Some of them can be quite good. Sometimes they have unusual things like there's a dog store there uh, last time. Uh, run by the uh, same company that he, the, the dog trainer that is training, helping us to train Dylan right now. Selling, you know, dog toys and signing up for uh, classes and things. You know, so it's it's pretty good, you know. <laughs> and that was unusual because I'd not seen that there before. Hmm. Other news. Oh, you know my nostalgia shelf. I'm going to be... Changing one of the shelves over to a. I'm thinking of getting a step ladder shelving system put in. Thinking about it. It does mean I've got to sort out a load of stuff that's currently on there. Oh, it's something I've been wanting to do for a while, so that's going to be good. Uh, I'm going to be getting a. Um, uh, place a little in the corner here area for my wife to use as well for her hobby stuff as well because that's only fair I think uh, so I want to get that done and yeah so all got lots lots to do coming up you know once payday hits <laughs> get a load of stuff in and uh, you know off we go basically off we go right another sip of this hmm Oh, coffee is good. I'm trying to check my miniatures here. I think these are good. The ones I did last time. Yeah. So they're good. Free of... Um, they, they got their... Um, varnish on there. Although this one's just peeled off slightly. Alright. Oh, I think he'll live. Val Parfa miniatures. Not this one. It's like a female paladin, I would say. Because I'm old school when it comes to clerics. And in the old days, clerics couldn't use any sharp blades or anything like that. It was against their religion. So they used like um, blunt force weapons. Um, 
but yeah yeah these are the images are all done all off the bench excellent we like this collect those up <laughs> okay pop that there right what am I going to do next then well I think I think I'm looking at some dry brushing the old long beard grey uh, thing on the base yeah I think that's what we're going to do Let's go. I'm hoping I've got another long beard grey uh, in the drawer somewhere. I'll have to have a look later. Yeah, on the base. Makes it look really good. I remember the first time I did this sort of dry brushing on a base. It was when I was painting the um. No, it's not done yet. It needs a wash. It's when I was painting the uh, Zombicide first edition stuff up, and I was like a little bit gobsmacked. Oh, I thought, oh, that looks really good. That's so simple and yet so effective. I was like, yeah, that's good. I like that. Yeah. Excellent. That's good. Gotta work on his tunic and that yet, but yeah I'm pretty okay with that right that's that done so it's looking like I'm gonna need some non-oil for that however I'm just gonna wash out my brush my dry brush yeah it's looking like a really nice day out there I took Dylan for a walk on my own uh, last night, in the evening, because um, my wife was um, like entertaining her friend who'd come up, or come down, I should say. You know, she's not um, in the best of health, so I said, look, why don't you two go out, and I'll walk Dylan, because he, he was time for his walk, and I was like, yeah, okay. Then. And uh, I took him somewhere different again, you know, so all these new smells and this is something I, I learned from my dog trainer with his particular breed and in particular is that it's not running and walking that's going to tire him out um in fact you could run him and walk him until the cows come home and he still might not be tired especially given his age um but sniffing that's a different matter that will tire him out so there's a tip get your dog sniffing doesn't matter if you're not going anywhere, just let him stand there and sniff. That's what he wants to do. Great. Yeah, I'm all for it. So I'm like, yeah. You crack on, chubby. Because I know that's going to wear you out. does take a while to dry doesn't it so yeah we'll leave that 
I'm going to be making up some more texture paint in the near future. Hopefully in the near future. Anyway, I've got a little pot put aside for it. Oh, but it's not going to be for miniatures. It's going to be for terrain. So I'm going to be opting for a like a brownie colour one. Um, so that I could use on terrain. I'm, I'm wanting to make some modular terrain pieces. I'll be honest with you. Um... Yeah, like, I don't know, swamp land pathways, that kind of thing, do you know what I mean? Um, yeah. Hmm. How long have I been going? 22 minutes, well, it isn't bad, that's not bad. Um... I've got this bad leg at the moment, so I think it's tendonitis, uh, you know, doing the old self-diagnosis thing. I think it's a touch of tendonitis in my right leg. Um, so when I go for walks, uh, you know, it's, it can be throbbing in the evening. And I know the best thing for it, or one of the best things for it, is rest. The trouble is, I can't do that with Dylan. He needs his walk. So, you know. But sometimes, because it's so flat around here, I get carried away on the walk. We just end up walking and walking and walking. And, you know, like, oh, we've walked quite far now. I'm going to have a look at this um, gladiator chat. I'll put some... Um, Agrax Earthshade on his base because he's in a gladiatorial arena. Well, that's the idea. Now, that said, we could use a different brush because. Agrax Earthshade can go in quite a few places for him. Yeah, that's looking alright actually. I mean, uh, Agrax Earthshade can be a very dirty look, can't it? But when you're a gladiator that's been fighting in the arena, you're going to be dirty. No two ways about it. You're going to be dirty. Wash that brush out, then I'll go for a bigger one for the um, base, which is what I originally wanted to do on him. Yeah, I'm excited for the projects I want to be doing in the future I really am um, I had a quick look for some Space Hulk uh, first and second edition board game stuff I'd love to own that but just way too expensive so guess I'm not gonna be uh, I've been trying to get my hands on another Lost Patrol as well just so I can keep one in pristine condition and it's not easy trying to find a Lost Patrol, or in any um, out of production game in pristine condition. And the other one just to keep back to play, you know. Yeah. Once he's dry, I can paint the rim of his base. Then varnish him and then get a job done. Another one off the bench. Excellent. I'm liking this. Yeah. Going back to the halfling thing. So I've got three halflings on the bench here. I think I've got one I've already done somewhere. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Something about halflings. Probably because it was like my first ever character. That's what I played. 
Should have put some null nylon on this one while I have the chance on the base. Not a problem. I can do it now. We will do it now. Right, okay. There. Done. Job done. Okay. Now I really ought to think about getting some paint on these. I want these bars to be metallic. So lead belcher for the win. I think these all go with different um which bits of terrain I got here and so on and so forth. Right. Do I have question is do I have a lead belt chair out? Oh, yes, I do. Would you look at that? I'm going to electronically shake that one up because it looks like it can do with it. Yeah. That's better. I love these electronic paint shakers. They really do mix the paint up well, I have to say. Blobs in there. Find my airbrush. Uh, oh, airbrush news. I'm going to be using airbrush. Well, because I haven't used an air, my airbrush since I've been here, which is the longest time I've ever gone without using it. Oh, I, thought I need to kickstart. Obviously, I'm going to do a maintenance on it, but I need to kickstart myself because I'm enjoying painting by hand so much I need something to motivate me to use the airbrush so guess what I got I got myself a Tyrannosaurus Rex model to put together um, yeah I don't want to be doing that one by hand uh, I want to be airbrushing that bad boy so that's what I'm going to be doing Yeah, and that will kind of force me to have to do that, break that sort of um, that sort of hiatus of uh, not using the airbrush. You see, yeah, it's a bit of a bit of an airbrush hiatus. See? <laughs> hmm. I can't say I've heard it used in that context before. Right. I'm just going to paint as much of this one as I'm able without touching it. Right, what have we got here? Just the outsides, I think. Another part of another gate. Not really prisons, just more like holding cell things, really. <laughs> oh, just give myself an idea of the prison. I could make one of those. Little prison cells shouldn't be too difficult. Yeah, that'd be quite fun, I think. This is many more zones writing at the moment in the other room. Her latest book's really coming on. Great guns. 
So I'm looking forward to editing that. Yeah, these these I've had these rages. These are part of the original fighting pit I've got. All this stuff ready for my campaign. It's like the reason it takes so long is because of time factor. You know, I just don't have time on my hands like I used to. Even before Dylan, I just didn't have that kind of time. I wasn't able to. wasn't able to uh the word is um find myself at that kind of time, you know, just wasn't really a possibility for me. Uh, okay, oh yeah, I've got another gate thing here. Let's deal with this uh No metal there, not that I can see. Okay, that's fine. I went in my local hobby shop. Uh, don't know if it was yesterday or the day before. Day before, I think, Friday might have been. It's the busiest I've ever seen it, which is good. But it was a bit of a shock. It was like, wow, it's not oh, normally this busy. Like, wow really busy which is a good thing okay i think i'm starting to struggle with what i'm gonna be doing This chappy needs a bit of um, varnish, so oh, I'm going to pop him on a oh, little um, lid there to hold him and get our varnish. Okay. Oop. rushes yeah, I'm, I'm happy that he's okay for varnishing there. Come on, I hate it when that happens. Oh, you undo all your hard work, don't you? <laughs> it's because he's metal, he's heavy, he's quite heavy, heavy chap. It's uh, deceptively heavy on this one. Yeah, I'll leave him to dry over there. How's that? Uh, yeah, so that's good. There'll be another one off the bench soon enough. Good. Okay, okay. Um, oop, looking at another plastic rail path for work. I'm thinking, yeah, ready for some dry brushing and rim painting. Yeah. Okay, so the old dry brush that we did earlier. Oh, and I found my other long bit of grey, by the way, so good. Well, I need some more coffee, I know. Mm. Getting through this. What are you working on, by the way? I, I liked to ask that at some point. 
usually, so that I can see in the comments. And I don't always ask it in the same place. Kind of, you know, it's a little test, I suppose, oh, as to whether you watch the whole. I mean, I'm not trying to catch you out or anything, but it's nice when someone does answer that because uh, I'm like, yeah, they're really engaging. The smallest of areas here now. Not a very good miniature this but uh, for the purposes of tabletop board gaming it is more than adequate okie dokie okie dokie steel legion drive where are you da, 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 da. yeah get this on the rim of the base and that'll soon be another one done I'm excited to be, so I, I mean I love doing my projects, don't get me wrong, I, I just love it, I love seeing them come together, brilliant, but I do love always starting a new project, it's just a clean, empty bench, especially if you're doing something different, like not painting your building instead or something, you know, I've, I have got quite a bit of building I need to do. Maybe I should do that. So there's another question for you. So the first question, what are you working on? Hmm. Second question. Do you know what you're going to be working on next? I think I'm going to be working on some MDF terrain. After that, I want to do some Warhammer stuff. It's been an age. Yeah, it's been an absolute age. <sighs> marvelous, marvelous. I am loving this. Okay, what time have I got here? 41 minutes, good, good. Well, I think he can be um, rife too. There'll be another one off the bench. is all good stuff. Someone said to me, you know, what's the problem? The other day, just put, pick up the bottle, put paint on it, you know, job done. I'm like, ah, the, my problem is focus. <laughs> uh, you know, an ADHD type thing. But I know this has got to be done. Do, 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 do. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta do a video. I gotta do a, an overview of some uh, D and D third party books I got the other day. At some point, never know. I might get a chance to do them this afternoon or well, this evening. You never know. Right. I'll finish off my coffee. Mm. Um. OK. 
Okay. Hmm. Now I'm looking at my... I think I've just just do did, did some uh, dry brushing, didn't I? Why didn't I see this one? It's like my carrying crawler worm thing, whatever it is, needs a bit of dry brushing on the base, and then guess what? Varnish. Yeah. Yeah, happy to varnish this one. Not entering it for blooming competition. Just needs to represent the enemy. I've been trying to get some more basic D&D um, &D monsters for typical, like old school dungeon crawl affairs. You know, it used to be like carrion crawler, kobolds, orcs, that kind of thing, goblins. Yeah, a lot of places today they, they insist on having such fancy monsters. <laughs> it's all very well. You like um, uh, I mean, if you're into if you're uh, if you like the theatre of the mind stuff, and I do, it's absolutely fine. Heck, we've even. But if you like to um, represent your monsters on the tabletop, you might have a problem. It was like, an, oh, I remember years ago, we used a Pringles tube to represent some sort of giant worm thing. It's quite funny. But that's what we did back in the day. You know, we, we improvised. We, we did it. Nowadays, it's like you've got such a plethora of miniatures. It's like, well, let's just get the miniature and paint it up, you know, which is good. And I'm... Um, you know, fortunate that we can do that, but uh, never used to. There we go. And that's another one off the bench. So three niches off the bench today. And that's pretty damn good. Pretty damn good. I think this one could possibly, yeah, be off the bench. That'll be four miniatures off the bench. How's that? Oh, how's that? Talking of how's that, I watched a little bit of cricket yesterday. Actually, at the cricket field. It was when I took my dog out for a walk, my, my went out with Dylan. You know, one of the walks I like to go on whether I, I do a usual walk or, or veer off to another way I have to pass the old cricket field which has always been there since I can remember and they were playing cricket so we just stood and watched that for a bit yeah, yeah and the familiar cry of how's that went came up in the air and yeah it's, it's good to watch you know relaxing yeah Another one, so that's four miniatures off the bench. In fact, I'm gonna I'm gonna take this a step further. I have a dog miniature here, but because he's all brown, I've, I've not been knowing what to do with his the rim of his base. He's got still he's on a little square, so I'm gonna paint it grey. Feel grey, yeah, that's fine. I'm gonna do that, just gonna do that. Cause then guess what? He's coming off the bench. Um if I can get some varnish on him. And uh, uh, that'll be that. Right. My cat's been in here all this time. Asleep. Just what I'd mentioned that. They seem to sleep for quite a long time, don't they? I 
incredible, really. Right. So I'm only doing simple stuff for this episode, painting the rims of bases, dry wa uh, dry brushing them, washing them, you know. It's... But I did start off with the feathers and the quiver of arrows, I suppose. Yeah, well, grey's quite neutral colour, so I'll do grey for his base. Picked myself, I don't know if I've mentioned it, I picked myself up a ZX81 the other day. It's on my nostalgia shelf now. Brilliant. Part of my childhood history. Absolutely amazing. Uh, yeah, I... Yeah, it really is. Oh, this uh, pony here, it's got like a pickaxe on it. I need to do the rim, or oh, the rim, the, what am I talking about? The, uh, the, I don't know, not the handle, the other end of the pickaxe. <laughs> The metal bit. You know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about, damn it. <laughs> yeah, the metal bit. I need to do that. Metal. There's not much to it, so... Oh. Just splatted paint. Oh, I hope it didn't go on me. Uh, can I soak it up? I don't even know why I opened it because I've got I've got lead belcher open already. Uh, oh, sorry, on the palette already. Guess I had to do that. That's typical of me. Do you ever do like open a flip top lid and it goes everywhere? Please tell me I'm not the only one. <sighs> mess, what a mess. I think I've been lucky that it didn't go on my clothes. Right. Definitely time for a new sheet of kitchen towel. Sheet of blitz. No, no messing around here. Good stuff. Right. Huh. Okay. I don't know. done this pickaxe bit way earlier it's now having to navigate around all the other areas which are already painted not good okay yeah I forgot I'd already put some lead belcher on my palette oh, someone told me back on oh, I needed to get a wet palette <laughs> which I've I actually made my first wet palette that worked fine, but I have since bought a wet palette. I'm only just painting one off miniatures, you know. I, t I tend to think a mm, bit of a waste of time. Don't need a wet palette as such. you're only painting like one-offs whereas if you're painting like hordes like loads of orcs or tyranids or something yeah wet palette's probably a good idea I don't know whether to do 
the MDF terrain next or the, the Tyrannosaurus Rex next? Because the sooner I build him, the sooner I need to get my airbrush out. So, I don't know, maybe build him? Dunno. Hmm, that's looking alright, I think. Yeah, do you know what? He is ready for varnish. Hell yeah. He's ready. I uh, don't need to varnish the base on him. Cool. What time have I got now? 55 minutes. Well, I think it'd be criminal. Not to get another one ready. So I'm going to varnish my dog here. And then say, yeah, he's ready. And then that'll be six miniatures off the bench. Well. Yeah. Hmm, he ain't ready actually. Well, let's do the pony instead. Yeah, I know I need to put a little bit of shade wash on the, the metallics, but I don't want to. <laughs> yeah, I just want him off the bench. To be honest, uh, in, a, in like a role playing game, a pack horse or a donkey or, or you know whatever so it's not really a main character it's just, it's just a representation of how you're carrying your stuff back from the dungeon or or through to the next town or wherever yeah so i'm just gonna cut back to me here yeah so just washing out my brush so that is what i am doing marvelous stuff that is absolutely brilliant. Well, I can't grumble at that. Uh, with the three miniatures I had off the bench um, from last time, that's eight, eight miniatures all together, I'm going to say, off the bench. Yeah, and I'll put them away. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. So, anyway, yeah, like I say, don't forget the questions I asked you in this episode. Pop the answers down below. And, uh, yeah. I will see you guys on another video. I feel calm. I feel relaxed. It's good. It's nice to be back making videos again. Um, it's quite early morning. Because I, I walked a little early. And I came back. Rather than, like, lay on the bed or anything, I just think, you know what, now's the time to make a video, and here we are, and it's been good, very, very productive, so remember all brushes later all, see you on another video, bye for now folks, bye bye.